morning everyone. I wanted to do a review on some male belly bands for dogs. We ordered these three from um, eBay and they were just under $23 for a set of three. This is from, I believe you say Tamoy is the brand. This is from Tamoy. During the hurricane, Harvey, we uh, got a belly band from PetSmart, but it didn't have this elastic on there. So it wouldn't hold what needed to be held in. So when I was looking on the internet for some, this brand kept coming up. And I noticed that it had elastic. And when you open it, here, it reminds me of a diaper how it has the elastic on both sides. I got this one. They had some other ones that had elastic, but I, I decided to get this brand because it said that it had a triple layer in the middle right here, a triple layer of protection. Whether or not that's true or not, I don't know. I just received them yesterday and we're gonna give it a shot today. I'm thinking it still might need another, another layer so what we're going to do today is this one that's orange, it's solid. We are going to put it on our dog Muffin. That way you have a nice clear view <laughs> of anything that will leak through here. Then afterwards I'm going to put cut a piece of potty pad out and put it, I'm thinking in this one because you might still be able to see if it gets darker than this print and see which actually would be better putting it with or without additional reinforcement we started to see that he started marking after we got his sister we got him when he was uh, a little pup he's a year old he was three months old when we got him we did have older dogs, an eight and a nine year old, and he was not having any accidents in the house. We were surprised, we were thankful. Uh, we just sat outside and the other dogs went. And if they needed to go before we said, you know, outside, you know, to let them go, we showed him to ring the bells like the other dogs. So he just rang the bells and went. A dear friend of ours had his sister and she would come and visit for like the weekend. Our friend could no longer keep her because the doctor visits and she'd be home alone by herself for long periods of time and didn't want her to, to be that way. So she asked if we would take her, we took her and she's been with us ever since. But ever since then, Muffin has started marking he started marking the beds of the older dogs, marking their toys. And at first, we just cleaned up the mess and thought nothing of it. Thought that maybe he wasn't completely trained because he was still, you know, just a baby, even though he had no accidents before. And we do see that he does do his business outside but then he comes inside and a little while later, he's marking. And we know he's marking because he's not just doing his business anywhere. He's doing it on their particular things, on the beds uh, of the other dogs, their toys. So he's not like just going wherever. It's a certain spot, spots I should say. Um, so what I did is I, cut uh, some potty pads in strips and I'm just this is just like leftover this is not actually you know what we used but I would cut a strip of the potty pad and we just wrapped it around him I know this is like really really big but like I said it's just an example we would wrap it around him and tape it up and let him loose and it seemed to really be helping. But as he would be playing, 
it would move. So we bought Pampers, uh, little kids Pampers, because when we went, they were out of his size Pamper at PetSmart. So the next best thing, go get a kid's Pamper. And again, we put this on because even though we had a size five and a size six, because of his poofy tail, we cut a hole so the poofy tail could come out. It would not cover the area that needed to be covered. So we would again, cut a strip of the potty pad, wrap it on him, and then put the pamper on it to keep the potty pad in place. And that works. It really does work. Uh, I'll have to put a picture up so that you can see that of him with it, just so you can see what I'm talking about. But it gets tiresome of having to do both things and he moves to see what's going on here and there. So we thought we'd try something a little different. Sometimes I have gone out to the store and he needs a new I'm gonna say pamper. So my kids would have to do it and you know, they are kids so they do the best they're, they can. They're doing the, the best. And it still moves. So I thought we'll try something different. An actual belly band instead of a homemade belly band, which like I said, does work if you cannot afford to get this, but you've got, I mean, this one came in a pack of 100 uh, at PetSmart and during the hurricane, I got it for 20 bucks. The lady at the register couldn't believe it either because it were $40 for a pack of 100. But if you want to go that way because, well, it is quite a bit of um, potty pads, what I did is I cut all the way across and it's got already like lines because it was folding it. This particular one, I got the biggest potty pad they had because I didn't know how long uh, we'd have to be stuck in the house. And they couldn't go outside, so we needed potty pads and a lot and big. So the line is already there for us. This is perfect because he is not a large dog. He's a Havanese, so he is a, a small, medium-sized dog. And uh, we cut along the line. And like I said, you're just gonna wrap it around his waist and tape it. I put tapes going across and then tapes going this way. This way it kind of reinforces it, especially with the, the moving that, that, that he does because he is still a puppy. And uh, if you make it a wider band, such as this, uh, this is not the one we we're using, but if you were to use a wider one, you have to use it from right behind his legs. Well, not right behind, I'm sorry, right before his hind legs to just above his penis. That way when he is moving, they're playing, they're wrestling, and it does tend to move down, it won't move down too far. It'll still cover it. So you've got to make sure that this, you know, measure your dog when you're going to wrap them. And, uh, make it a comfortable one don't make it too tight so that it doesn't move because then you're going to have a dog that might be whimpering or might try to rip it off or whatever muffin never did because i think because we uh we put clothes on our dogs so he's fine with it he doesn't mind he's used to wearing a shirt uh so that's how you do this like i said it's very very easy to make a homemade belly band but if you need that extra protection you might want to put a pamper on them and then if you're going to do a pamper with this make sure you cut out for the tail and that for that part you're just going to measure it i don't want to show you how to do that with the dog because then he's going to think we're going to put it on him and i don't want to do that considering we're fixing to put one of these on him so I'm going to spend today seeing how well these work, one with and one without a potty pad inside. And I will give you an update. Thanks for watching. In case no one has told you today, remember you're beautiful, you're wonderful, and you inspire someone every day.
Thank you. This is Bye. Muffin. He is testing our belly band today. And he usually goes out every two hours, but for this purpose, we have left it on an extra 30 minutes just to see how it is. Okay, my son here is gonna stand him up so we can see underneath. Okay, and there is no sign of any leakage. It's not wet or anything. Okay, now he's gonna take it off. And let's see if he's done his business. Yes, he's clearly done some business in there. <laughs> and recently, too. Okay, so at least we know it does work. I don't know how much it can actually hold. So I'm going to put on another belly band. And this time, well, he's fixing to go out. We're going to send him out. But this time, we're going to leave him in there a little bit longer to see, I need to know how much will it hold. So if I were to be out shopping and he is out for let's say three or, if I'm out, if I'm out for three or four hours, Muffin, Muffin, they don't wanna see you doing that. If I am out for three or four hours, will it hold? Uh, so let's see. And then our final test will be Will it hold better with or without, those are the cookies we're baking, with or without the extra protection of a potty pad inside the belly band. So stay tuned. Say bye-bye, Muffin. Bye -bye. Okay, this is Muffin again. We are testing the belly bands from Tamoy, I believe is how you pronounce the name. Earlier, we did a test with one of his belly bands for two and a half hours. He usually goes out every two hours, and um, we did see some potting in there, but nothing fell out, nothing spilled anywhere. There were no accidents anywhere. Don't wanna turn, because all we're seeing is your tail. <laughs> uh, um, and, uh, you could see in it that he had gone more than once, but no spillage, no accidents anywhere, and because he likes to wear clothes, he has no problem with it, he has no problem wearing the belly band. So now on our second belly band here, I bought a three pack, this is the second one, uh, we have gone four and a half hours. Tomorrow, we are going to try another one where we can go a little bit longer as if, you know, some people, they have to work all day and they cannot come and let their dogs out and they don't have a, a, a doggy door. We do not have a doggy door because we homeschool and we're home all day so they get to stay home with us and, uh, well, we also, I don't want any snakes or scorpions coming in that might want to wander in or any other little critters. So now we're going to see how it looks inside. His potty band, his potty band, his belly band. Now he does get a little dirty. We use puppy wipes to clean his, you know, parts. And sometimes we find a little mud, a little dirt. He likes to be in the mud. Okay, yep, there's some potty there. And it looks like could be a little mud or a little bit older, um, older potty since it has been four and a half hours. This dog, he and his sister, it is amazing how much they love mud. Just amazing. Um, they're white dogs and they will come in totally, totally covered in mud and they're all happy about it. <laughs> um, okay, so, so far so good. No leakage, he did go potty, no leaking through, and there's not a sign anywhere that it came through. So that's a good sign. So we will try again tomorrow to see if he can go longer without any leakage, and then we will try with a, a little bit of a potty pad in there to see if even that might help with a little bit more protection. Thanks for watching. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Okay, we are here with Muffin, and we have left him in the belly band for six hours to see just if there was any leakage, um, did it go through, anything like that. Did he even go? We have searched the house to see no accidents. So that's a good thing. So it has not leaked. There's Abby and Cookie back there who want to see what's going on too. So first off, let's see if there's any soaking through. Okay, go ahead and pick them up. Okay. Can't see too well, but no. It's all dry. Don't feel anything. Okay, now. Let's go ahead and take it off and let's see if he even went. Well, there is a little bit of yellow staining in there, so he did go. It feels a little heavy, not too much. Um, so overall, I think it looks pretty good. But for those that maybe they work... 8, 10, 12 hour shifts and can't come home to let their dogs out, we are going to try another one. Tomorrow we will put one in with, um, well I don't know, maybe we should test it without it to see. I guess that's what we'll do. We'll try and leave it in there. Let's slowly go up. <laughs> Let's go to eight hours tomorrow and see if these things can hold eight hours of wear. And uh, then we'll go to 10 and 12. And then we'll see how it goes with, uh, with that. And if it can hold 12 hours, I think that's pretty good. That's really, really good. And I don't think most people are away from, from their pets for more than that time period so uh, I don't think we would need to do that but I don't know we could probably definitely look into that giving that putting a little piece of potty pad in there um, to line it and uh, seeing how he does okay well we'll do it again tomorrow okay well this is muffin and today we were testing the belly band for eight hours and so we've done two and a half four and a half six hours today's eight to see if the belly band would leak through um, would it leak anywhere at all and there's Abby to say hello um, we have checked it to see if he had gone there are some uh, brown spots and as we can we found out that it's because it's old potty where he did dribble a little bit in there and I'm telling you right now ooh, the smell so he did go quite a bit um, so let's lift him now and see we can see underneath let me see try not to do too much light it doesn't look like it has gone through okay let's go ahead and take it off Whew. stinky oh my goodness now after we are taking this off we are cleaning him with his puppy wipes okay I'm trying to get not too much light on there okay okay that is just I guess him rolling around in there that is nothing but you know stuff and I don't know what that is what on earth is that okay that is obviously a leaf brought in by his sister Ooh, stinks something fierce um, well, I don't know where the brown spots are I guess maybe it was just the leaf that we saw piece of leaf okay go ahead and close that up because I'm dying oh bad 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 um, so so far it does good we are pretty happy with it we have looked around everywhere that he's been he's been running free around the house and no spots. We do have a UV light that we got from Bissell. It comes with a, it was in a kit for uh, uh, the, what is it? 
when he goes potty in the house and you, you use this to clean up. I can't think of it right now, but it came with a kit. And uh, the light by itself is $20. And uh, they had it with uh, like a little promotion that time where they had the full size with the light. And it was for $20, so that was a great deal. So we went and used, used that around. Um, I don't think I found a really good urine destroyer that does exactly what it says 100% of the time. The one that we have been using is uh, Scout's Honor because uh, they have ha it's a pretty big bottle and it's uh, it was a buy one get one free so we went ahead and we try that. So far that does pretty good. Not I, I haven't found one like I said that works 100% of the time. Uh, tomorrow we will try this out for 10 hours and then the next day 12. Uh, like I said, I think most of the most pet parents, they're going to be home anywhere between, you know, let's say 8 to 12 hours. We can even try and push it for 12 and a half for the, the chance that, you know, traffic or whatever. Uh, I think most of the time, pet parents don't stay away from their babies that long, do we? No, 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 no. Uh, since we are home all the time, we, we homeschool, uh, we're always home. So they don't have to worry about that. And uh, there are some that, you know, they, they can't do that. They, they work eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hour shifts, and they might not be able to, to get home. Maybe they live too far from um, their job and they can't commute back and forth for that. So we are here to find out for you. And so far, we are giving this a big, big, five star rating we really like it and there has been no marking anywhere in the house as long as he's been wearing this and again we are doing the I think it's called tamoy belly bands male belly bands and we really like it so let's see what tomorrow brings okay this is muffin today again testing out our belly band and today we've tested it for 10 hours. So we are going to look underneath. Let's see, I'm trying to get it so it doesn't look too bright. Okay, doesn't look any darker than usual. And yep, it's dry. So let's take a peek inside. We know that he's gone because that's 10 hours. Uh, wow, definitely has a smell. Um, don't know if you can see, but that's a little yellowing. There, some yellow. So he did go potty in here. But it was dry on the other side, no leakage. We have looked in the house and there is no potty anywhere. So no leakage. Tomorrow we will work on 12 hours and I think that's going to be the last one because I think that's about the most that any pet parent will be away from their from their baby and um, I can even push it to about 12 and a half for just in case you have a 12 hour shift and traffic and that will be the end of our test but so far we're giving it five stars Okay, here's Muffin on his last day of testing the Timoy belly band. Wait a minute. And we have had it on him for 12 and a half hours. And I can tell you that it stinks from here to high heaven. I thought yesterday's was bad. Today is, oh my goodness. Lord have mercy, it really stinks. Uh, um, yeah, 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 I know. Uh, um, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> he wants his treat. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, go ahead and take those. Okay, now there is no wetness that has. Um, you can see, you know, no yellowing, no staining on there, showing that it went through. Okay. 
it doesn't feel wet, but it does feel cool. And from the smell of it, it's definitely loaded. Okay, let's go ahead and take it off. Let's see. Okay. Yep, there is yellowing on the inside. So it has kept everything in that it needed to keep, which is very important. We have checked the house and have had no, um, no accidents anywhere in the house where it has leaked or anything like that. It is definitely, definitely kept, uh, keeping everything in that it should keep in. All that potty is staying in there. Unfortunately, the odor, not. But for those that have to be away from their babies, their fur babies, for 12 hours, this will hold the potty in. So that's a good thing. We did it for 12 and a half. So in case, uh, I, I assume it would hold it if you needed to do for 13 hours. Um, but it does feel cool already. But uh, I, we did it for 12 and a half, so in case someone was getting off of work and it takes them about 20, 30 minutes to get home. So we did the little extra. And uh, it, it is doing really good. We are really satisfied. We will be purchasing some more. Uh, again, we got a pack of three. Um, and this was about $23. We got it on eBay. This is Tamoy. I think is how you say it and um, he has not tried to take it off or anything like that he doesn't try to rub it off or chew it off or anything but there again if your dog is okay with wearing clothes uh, then he he will be okay with uh, wearing this Muffin has been wearing clothes since we got him and we've had him since he was three months old. He's now a year and uh, almost a year and a month and he's been wearing clothes since then. He'll be without anything as he is now, just, just his furry self and then he has times where he's wearing a shirt and he's fine so if your your fur baby is okay with clothes then they'll be okay with this no problems i don't think they'll have any problems and it sticks really good because of this velcro uh, this is a very wide velcro now i have been cleaning this afterwards when we take it off um i've been soaking it i'll take tide and i really rub it in there and soak it and then rub it in there some more you know just really rubbing it around uh soak it some more and rub it some more until the yellow staining on the inside is gone so that it is nice clean and white um the next day that you want to use it and having three i think i'm going to need more so that i can change it more often because the smell is very strong uh, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, I've been letting them air dry. I don't know. It, it didn't come with instructions or anything. They just came wrapped in plastic. It, so it doesn't say whether or not you can put these in the dryer. I would think it would be okay, but it doesn't say, you know, are they made out of cotton or what? And I don't think so because of the texture, the way this feels. It reminds me of a, a, a baby's training pants. Um, the little uh, like panties that you put a little girl over her pamper. It's something like that. And uh, it's, it's doing great except for the smell. I wouldn't mind if it had something to help with the odor. Um, but uh, other than that, we are very pleased with it. We definitely recommend it. We give it five stars. Well, I guess four because of the smell, but overall five because we wouldn't keep it on him that long. 
uh, regularly except for this this little testing phase that we're doing so hopefully you all will try it if you need it you'll like it of course we do recommend that if you are going to be gone uh, for a long time you know 8 10 12 hours and you cannot let your dog out that maybe the belly band is not uh, the right option for you you may need the full-on diaper and they do have that they even have that with elastic suspenders um, at I think it's for uh, like $20 and you can get it at Petco or PetSmart and I've even seen them on eBay but that's just one so it'd be $20 for just the one if your dog is good at holding it then this would probably be okay. We have gone to uh, uh, the doctor in Houston and uh, he's been fine when we're gone for a few hours and I said we just got this a couple of days ago and he's very good about holding it because we keep him in the crate but he has what we call it his room. It, it's a very big big one. It's one of those that they they sell at the stores and it's called a playground but we call it their room so we decorate it and they have their own bed in there and it's a nice big fancy bed for them for he and his sister and it's in there and they don't have any accidents in there or anything they have plenty of room to run around and and play and as you can see they're pretty doggone spoiled getting little massages um, I don't know what else to say I think I think that kind of sums it up if if they're okay with holding it then you know all you're gonna need I would think is the be the belly band or nothing at all if, if they you know are really good at holding it which like I said we we haven't had any accidents with them while they're in their crate but um, we had to get the belly band because he is marking as we have another male dog and so he has started marking now that he is older he's only been doing this for the last maybe about four months and when we first got him we had no problem he wasn't doing it at all and now he he is I guess because he's getting older and he sees his sister as just his and our other dog has no idea what to do with a girl anyway. <laughs> you know, we've had him since he was five weeks and he's always had little stuffed animal dolls and other toys and he has his happy time with them and so he's never been with a, another dog so I don't think he he's never even tried to be with Abby. Anyway, I hope this has helped. In case no one has told you today, you are wonderful, you are beautiful, and you inspire someone every day. Muffin, say bye-bye. <laughs>